I just won my first event. <laughs> oh my goodness. What's going on guys? Today, we're back in the garage. We're gonna try to get the Nova together. I went ahead and got us some new tires and I did check a couple things. I spent some time just banging out the side of the Nova just so that door would open and close again. I know a lot of people are like, oh, I got fenders, I got doors. Look, this thing's rusty, it's old, and the dents are just gonna add character. The only way we're putting new fenders and doors and everything else on it is if we go with fiberglass, but I don't think we're going that way. The game plan today is to get the new tires on. There's a couple little things I gotta fix and then we're gonna take a couple measurements and check. I've already checked underneath. The subframe has alignment holes where you line up the subframe and I can stick my finger right through the alignment holes. Everything seems fine there. We made a couple hits after we smacked it into the wall and everything seemed okay, but we were having trouble getting down the surface. We definitely bent the rear wheel. We got a new rear wheel and we're gonna see, hopefully today, we're gonna go make some passes and make sure everything feels kinda good. I don't have any reason to suspect that anything is completely out of whack, just more the, the bent wheel and obviously the damaged tire and the side and that kind of stuff. I think we're gonna try the new tires today and hopefully get this thing down the street nice and easy, A to B, a couple times, we'll start giving it some power again. If it feels good, we're gonna load up this weekend because we're going to Rockingham for the Outlaw Diesel Super Series race which I know, why would we bring this to a diesel race? Well, on Friday night, they've got a gas first diesel, small tire, no time shootout, where it's $100 buy-in there and $1,000 on the pot. And word has it that a lot of their 590 class guys want to run in it, turn it up, and see what they can do. So I think that's a perfect matchup for the Nova. That should be some great racing. Hopefully we can get it down the street today and everything works out. that brand new wheel nice and shiny we went with a different tire to go around we've been finding that everywhere we've been racing lately has been on the front half of the track and not really back half stuff so this was a combination number one we've been attacking a lot of front side like we plan on doing this weekend so we went with the mickey thompson the 3055 s which is the stiff sidewall we've also been killing sidewalls it's been really hard to try to keep a tire around it's actually just nearly impossible it doesn't want to happen on the nova partially because it's too heavy the suspension setup everything but we're going to see how the stiff sidewall does in testing and then this weekend Pulling up to the test spot and they got one lane of the road closed off and construction vehicles and obviously we're stopped. The test spot is right there, like right there. And we're stopped in the traffic caused by having a lane shut down. So it's gonna make it kind of hard. Uh, not that we can't test, but the likelihood that we will get more than one pass before somebody calls the cops is gonna be incredibly, incredibly slim. Minute, especially since the construction vehicles are using that. Yeah, the construction vehicles are using that, plus they're just blowing dirt and dust and everything up on the way. So, uh, that's not good. They want you to go slow. Yeah, they so want, I don't think yeah, you're gonna be going fast. We're not trying to 
we're gonna need a new game plan because we can test we can test further down this road the problem that surface is really pretty good and I wanted to test on a good surface because when checking to make sure that everything with the chassis and suspension is okay after we've looked at it measurements whatever uh, you need a good surface not a bad surface bad surface ain't gonna tell us nothing if it doesn't hook We're dealing with uh, some super high winds and construction on the road. We talked about going to another road. We, we need the good road. We, what we need is for the chassis to, to set like it's supposed to, to hook like it's supposed to, and for us to get a good idea of what's going on. Unfortunately, with all the traffic out here today, we're gonna have to push this off until another day. Unexpected things happen. This is what happens sometimes. You got a really good spot, everything goes well, and then sometimes you gotta expect the unexpected. straight even though it was spinning. I wasn't mad at that. Let me catch you guys up a little bit of what just happened. So what happened is after many days and 500 miles we ended up at this street spot which I'm sure you guys all know what it is on a brand new set of slicks that we had had the chance to test. So I really really wanted to at least break them in at least start scrubbing them up a little bit. I expected it to spin being as it's a brand new set of slicks, I tried to do a nice long burnout. It got real crazy just because I was really laying on it. It had a little trouble building boost, but I could hear the air compressor in the back running. So I think that was just a not enough air in the air compressor thing. We've just been trying to get it done in the daylight. As you can see, the sun setting. We've got maybe an opportunity for one more in daylight, and that's about it. It spun for quite a bit. Nothing bad about it. I mean, there was nothing great about it, but. I'd really like to see if we can't get the chassis to hook and go from there. Without whipping out the computer, I got a couple tune-ups saved on that memory card. Maybe I'll just try one of those tune-ups real quick and we'll see if maybe another burnout and one of those tune-ups can get us down. I think the car's gonna be fine. From what I felt and you know, just that and then getting back into it and everything, it, it wasn't out of control, it was nothing crazy. I think putting the wheel on that was bent up and then you know a fresh set of slicks, everything else we checked out seemed okay. So. The thing is, we're going to be racing at Rockingham on the front side against diesels where it'll be kind of prepped. It's not going to be like radio prep or anything, but we're probably going to go personal best ET chasing this weekend. So I wanted to at least make sure that the damn thing would go straight before I put it on the track, but 
Let's see if we can get another pass in. Let me look at this video. Yeah, it was a little too hot. It wasn't bad at first. I knew I should have let go of the button because I was watching the boost build up and I was like, oh man, it's taking a while. We must be down there on a compressor, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I should just leave. And then it started, I saw eight, nine. I'm like, all right, we'll get up there. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Try that again with a new tune-up. Okay. All right. Turn it off. Turn it on. If I can repair. I bet you that thing kicks on now. Supposed to kick on. Hello? Hold on. Well, yeah, because it's only gonna come on when you first hit the button. Kick it on. Yeah, we're gonna have to push it on a trailer. And then they got people got charging stuff at the track. Kinda sucks. But that's the way it goes sometimes. Sometimes you got little problems that screw you up. Do you no good. This is one of them times. It's alright, it happens. So we have been on the struggle bus today after the testing session went awry last night. Today, we got the battery charger on it. Battery seems to be working okay, but the fuel pump wasn't kicking on. And the fuel pump is controlled by the Holly. There's a trigger wire that goes to the relay. It's controlled by the Holly, and for whatever reason, it's not triggering it. So I just moved that wire to the arc panel, and now we can get the fuel pump to kick on. It should hopefully start. Everything will be okay. It's been a real stressful weekend because we've got Mallory here, she's working the booth. Brandon and I are working, doing contract work, video, photo, all that kind of stuff. So it's been running a million directions at once and not had a lot of time to figure this out. If we were just racing, I could sit here, we could voltmeter everything, we could figure out what's going wrong and why, but right now we just need a workaround. We're racing in the gas versus diesel, no time, 28 shootout, $100 buy-in, 1,000 on the pot, and so far there's two people here in the shootout, me and somebody else. So I gotta be able to make the pass. Uh, right now it's open to test and tune. I'd like to see if we can get this thing fired up. If we can, I'm gonna go tech in, go to the lanes, go make a hit. The track surface is the most beautiful surface I've seen. Like, they just freshly redid it up there. Everybody's going personal best. It's our turn to go personal best if everything holds together. I'm stressed, I'm tired, I'm out of breath, but let's see if it fires up and then we can go from there. A diaper strap. No, that's the belt. I let go of the button and immediately shifted to second. 
like a jerk. Like, I don't know, I mean, it's just, I was in a rush, we are out of focus. Ugh. And I grabbed the scramble the whole way. Like, I let go of the button, grabbed the scramble, hit the shifter, and just, and I was like, wait a minute, why does it sound like that? Uh, Burkhart did. Yeah, but he's not on 28, so. He, he came up to me in the pits, or in the lanes, and was like, look, I'm in. I'm like, you have a 28? No. I was like, it's literally the only rule, it's a 28. A couple things after reviewing the footage, everything. I think the reason I short shifted is because it seemed like it was starting to, to get up on the tire a little bit. It is what it is, you know what I mean? We, we don't, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna be straight up honest with you guys. I didn't change anything. I have not changed anything with suspensions, you know. Nothing has changed, weight, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I'm starting to wonder like if the front shocks are worn out or something, cause it's just coming up super fast. It's not doing what it has usually done. The flip side to that is we're on a sticky track so I can get away with it. It's not gonna, you know, hopefully it won't blow the tire off. We just put a tune-up in it. The one that came out of it was 18 pounds, and that was the one that had the big scramble button on it, you know, an additional six pounds. So we put all that in just from the start. The way we're gonna race this is if it starts getting up on the tire, I'll just short shift it, that'll calm it down. We don't know who's in the shootout yet. We'll have the driver's meeting at four. Right now, it's just an accomplishment that this thing went down the track. We haven't filmed a lot of it, everything. There's been struggles in the last 24, 48 hours just to get this thing to make a pass. So I'm happy to do it. If there is, if there is for some reason, I, I feel like a bunch of the gas guys backed out. I know a bunch of the diesel guys, you know, they weren't ready in time, whatever, whatever. If it's me and one other guy, we're gonna be racing for $1,200. We can kind of do it. We can work a split or we can just gamble for $1,200. Doesn't matter. The big thing that I think that I'm learning is that if I want to come out here and work a weekend and have the race car, we're going to need even more help that I don't even know where I'm going to get it, but it is what it is. We're having fun. It's race weekend. It's beautiful weather today. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. We'll see what happens. And uh, we turn this thing up, just let go of the button, hold on. It went straight. There was no crazy driving. There was no nothing. I let go of the button. I grabbed a scramble. I smacked the shifter and just held on to it the entire time. It threw the belt off, so I gotta fix that. Hopefully we don't keep throwing belts. I don't wanna keep having that issue, but we're back in action. After this, we'll figure out tonight. We can take it home, start testing on the street, start getting everything figured out, keep working from there. Can you guys tell that I'm exhausted? And mentally just, can you tell Brandon? Yeah. They've opened up Test and Tune again, and unfortunately, that's a Grand National. Sorry. <laughs> it looks like ours, but it's actually a Grand National. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and hit test and tune. Uh, I've turned it up a little bit. I think we'll be okay to turn it up. I don't think that's gonna be an issue. Um, unfortunately, the small tire shootout only had three people in it. Uh, we're gonna hold off on that a little bit. They got a gambler's race. We're gonna let a couple rounds of that happen. And one of the guys in the small tire is uh, is on a radio. He'd like to wait until the sun goes down, or not maybe the sun goes down, but at least let it get a little cooler, cooler track temp. I don't care. He wants to make a good pass. I want to make a good pass. I'm sure the other guy wants to make a good pass. So we're going to load this thing up with 22 pounds of boost. <laughs> Actually, I lied. 24 pounds. 24 pounds. <laughs> yeah, we're going to see what happens. Hopefully, I don't do anything stupid. I think that that tire making noise kind of got me a little anxious and that's why I short shifted so the game plan here especially is test and tune we've got a bunch in it the track is the greatest track we're gonna see all year I'm not racing anybody we're just going up there and trying to personal best so let's go see if we can put a number on the board and then we're gonna go spend the day with horses tomorrow if it rains tell them about the horses there's horses there we're staying at a uh, horse stable we got an Airbnb in the apartment this is the second floor of a horse stable so when it's three in the morning you hear horses underneath there doing whatever horses do at three in the morning. Shenanigans. Let's go race. It's just regular E85. It's just a fancy game.
scramble, no nothing, let the car shift itself. It threw the belt. That wasn't cool. Where's my hat? I need my hat. We gotta get back to the pits because this thing's gonna be hot. And everything else. But that's a personal best. It's a personal best and we can still probably leave harder and all kinds of other good stuff. Thank you. It threw the belt before the gear change. And uh, I was like, yeah, we should just stay in it. We don't need alternator or anything. 581. 581, 118. Chipping away at it. Oh. Fast as 62. Really? Yeah. Can you say that one? Yeah, I can. I don't, uh, look, to be honest with you, I'm not gonna lie. I've been getting kind of, I've been getting kind of burnt out on no prep racing and a whole lot of people being jerks and there's being a whole lot of negativity. Bro, I don't care. I just want to race my car. I just want to have fun. Yeah. I want to best my best. Like, right, right. You're not in it to be better than everyone else. It's just right, your like, best. Right, right. Just my best. The best that I could be every day. That is one thing that I will say. I like about coming to ODSS races, even though they're all diesel. This is the most supportive group of guys you will ever see anywhere. Yeah. Every single one of them will give their shirt off the back for each other. Not so, only that, congratulate you. Yeah, congratulate me. Like, be pumped up, you know? Like, so I say that because it's like a whole lot of negative stuff, but like, I'm happy. Like, we went 581. I really think it's hard because it keeps throwing the belt. So, when it throws the belt, we lose fuel pressure. We start playing dangerous games. Is 581 enough to win? The shootout tonight? I have no idea. The one guy that's on a radial, I don't know what they run, but I, if he hooks, he's gonna go deep into the fives, if not the fours. The other guy, I've got no clue. We'll go 581, maybe even a little better. 136, 60 foot. I mean, that's a good day. It's a good day. It's a good day. It's a good day. It's a good day. So, oh, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you for letting me go. You did good. It looked good. It was. It, it, yeah. Everything was fine other than throwing the belt. The memory card, I do this every time. Take the memory card out, I put and it in my pocket. Lose it. The car yeah. shifts itself. The memory card is in your pocket. Yep. The car shifted itself that time. It sure did. And it works. If we can look at the data log, is something screwy happened with my Holly here. Yeah, I don't know why it just started doing this. Where it says, like, instead of all of my normal views, it says all of this other crap. I don't know what the hell happened here. So now I can't even read a data log because I don't know what the heck happened. Yeah, it like knocked out all the preset, like drag race, fuel, like all that doesn't show up anymore. Now it's just view one, view, 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 view. Like. All right, well, we just picked the tune up. They're calling us up to the lanes. There's three of us in this shootout. Kind of sucks because I really, I really enjoy these diesel races and, and hanging out with these guys. This is one of the friendliest uh, races I've ever been to. I mean, the ODSS series, everybody here is super cool, super helpful. They're incredibly supportive of each other. It's a, it's a very good time. Now, there's three of us in it. One guy hasn't made it, made it down the track yet. They're on a radio though, so if he can get it down the track, he's gonna be super fast. The other guy I'm not sure about, and then me. So, I guess we'll go up there. We'll do some drawings, you know, figure out who's gonna get the bite of the final. We went, no ramp. 24 pounds of boost or what we think is 24 pounds of boost and upped it from 4,000 to 4,200 on the launch. Well, we turned it up, babe. Come tell the people we turned it up. We turned it up. <laughs> I just got here, turned it up. Yeah, she didn't approve, but we, uh, we, we're we just gonna see if we can get a little bit better in the 60 foot. I mean, it's personal best 60. We'll see if it can go even a little bit better. The track's cooling down, temperature's cooling down. We'll give it a shot. If it gets out of shape or anything, if it spins the tire, I know I can short shift it and still run a pretty decent number. So let's go do it. Well, and that's the thing is they like. Where else doesn't have. Fools go. In fools go. Oh, look, I got it just for the car. Tails. Tails. Heads. Got you, honey. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm gonna buy. Yeah. Hey, you see that happening right there? Yeah. Yo.
No. <laughs> <laughs> Matt. Whatever. Do you know what that shit is? <laughs> what that is? Yeah. That's the stickiest of the ickiest. It's the stickiest. Uh, 420 was yesterday. I mean, y'all just like spray it. <laughs> you just spray it in a bottle. Yeah, we just pour it out on the ground. And we just sp we spray it Sprayed with a fucking lawn sprayer. Ralph said, don't change the tune up. Just come back up. <laughs> That's what Ralph said. <laughs> okay, my friend. All right, so it looks like I got the buy. Looks like the two diesels are going to race first. Let's go make it happen. We turned it up a bit. We'll see what happens. Go from there. Good times. Hopefully the belt stays on. Actually went slower. Did it spin at all or anything? I mean, the 60 foot was still in the 130, so I don't think I don't think it spun. Oh, look at that sunset! I mean, we can put the other tune up back in it and see what happens. How do you feel? Which one do you feel better about that one or the one before? I mean, the one before went faster, so I would say let's put the one before back in it. Belt still on? Belt still on. The belt trick worked. The thing is, I mean, we put a little fuel in this thing and we can get right back up to the lanes. They're probably going to need a minute or two. They didn't make a clean pass. Now, Ryan's really smart and Ryan's probably smart enough to go, hey, we don't have to go deep fives. We just got to go enough to get past him. We'll go up there. We'll talk to them. We'll see what they want to do. Um, but we got ourselves a little, it could, if they do what they just did, like we would have an actual drag race because they make power. So they'd have been, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But it's anyone's guess. So let's go. All right, so my data log is still jacked up, like the view of everything, but I was talking to Derek and Derek's like, oh, I think we're missing a little bit of power somewhere. So he had me send him some information. I can tell you on that pass, we never made more than 22.4 pounds of boost. Fuel pressure looks good. Duty cycle looks fine. The, the snake eater, Pro Series are flowing at 38% duty cycle. That's nothing. 
I don't know why we went slower. It's hard to tell with not having a good log with the pass before. I think we could still go up to 24 pounds. I kind of want to throw the tune up from the last pass in it, but just up it more because we're commanding 24 and it's not hitting 24. So we're starting to either lose some efficiency. Maybe are we at the top end of the 80 millimeter turbo? I don't think so. That doesn't sound super right. Um, I don't know the answers. This is like why I got people smarter than me around me, but maybe Derek will give us an answer. Depends on what he tells me. If he's like, hey, turn up the boost, you're good to go. Just keep giving it more boost, see what it does. Or he might say, hey, that's kind of weird. You know, we should try this or we'll figure it out. But depending on what he says, if he gives me a text back, I mean, I'm asking a lot. The, the man is trying to enjoy his Friday night and I'm over here bugging him about my race car doing some stuff. If he gives me an answer before the next pass, we'll do what he says. If not, I'll put it uh, I'll put it back to the tune that it was before that went a tenth faster, and we'll go from there. The car was getting hot. It wouldn't stay on. Oh my goodness. I don't know what happened, but the car was getting hot on the brake. It just like died. I kept my foot in it. I asked him, do you want to split it? Whatever. He said, ah, screw it. Let's just run for the whole thing. I just won my first event. <laughs> oh my Oh my goodness, I can't, how do you, look, it's better to be lucky than good sometimes, I guess, damn, look, you know what, this weekend has been rough on us all together, I mean, just trying to get out of the house, just trying to, you know, get my mom with the kids and, and everything else under the sun, and, um, yeah, I don't know. We gotta go take a picture with the money. What? He red lit, I won. Shut up. <laughs> I was wondering what happened. Your hose popped. I was like, oh my god. Yep. Yeah, you, you shot water out. Yeah, it was overheating. I knew it was. I told Chris laying on the line, I was like, it's I'm getting hot. Alright, get in, come on. I don't even know how that happened, how that's possible. <laughs> it's better to be lucky than good. Because we just, we fought a bunch of BS, everything else, and we lucked our way into a win. I'm gonna come out, I'm gonna come out the shower just like this, butt naked with the belt Please on. Don't do that. You might hey, want to take your belt back. That's fine, it's not for you anymore. It's not for yeah, me. You need to do it, that'd be pretty rad. Oh. All right, well, I guess that's gonna be it. We gotta go back to work. We gotta film a bunch more stuff. We gotta get this thing on the trailer, figure out why it's overheating, why it's doing what it's doing, but. Shout out to SNS, shout out to ODSS, 
Shout out to everybody. I don't know what to do with my hands. I don't know. All right, so real quick guys, I just wanted to explain to you why this is so crazy. We didn't do a good job of doing it in the video, so I was like, let me take a moment and explain. Number one, we told everybody about this race. I invited a bunch of fast guys, and at the end of the day, three people showed up. So it is what it is. You'll have races like that, and is it the greatest, most spectacular win ever? Did I fight my way through a field of cars? No, but we struggled a lot, and all the work we put in through the week, we got lucky and it paid off. That's the other part of it, the luck. There's only one way I would have won this race, and it's exactly how it happened. When I hit the bump, the car was overheating, and it went into limp mode. Had it not gone into limp mode, it would have made the full bump, it wouldn't have flickered the bulb, and he wouldn't have red lit. The only way I was winning this is if it overheated, went into limp mode, the bump was not good enough, it flickered the bulb a couple times before it lit, he ended up red lighting, and that ended up getting us the win. Had we been able to make a full pass, I don't know what it would have been. I mean, I don't know if we would have had enough for him or not. Not sure how it worked out, but sometimes it's really better to be lucky than good. And even though it's not the most spectacular win in the world or whatever the case may be, it's the first time I've ever won anything. And after working and busting my ass all week, working the event all weekend, which we're still not done with, um, it just felt good. It felt like a good piece of motivation for us to keep going. So sometimes you need that, even the little victories, you know. I do wanna say, there was nothing intentional. You know, uh, people got a little out of shape at first because they were like, oh, you burned them down, this, that, and the other. I love the diesel guys. You know, for those of you that don't know, I spent a lot of time in the diesel world with these guys and I respect all of them. There's a lot of good people out there. There was nothing I could do. I hit the bump and the car went limp. At that point, I was just sitting there, you know, dead in the water. So it just so happened that he happened to red light and it just so happened that it was the final and it just so happened that I ended up winning the whole thing. <laughs> so I'm sure next time they're gonna continue to do this. The No Time 28 shootout is gonna continue to happen at every ODSS race this year. So if you guys are near any of them, make sure you come out. It's a hundred dollar buy-in, a thousand on top. The next one is gonna be at UCC, which is gonna be huge out in Indy. So I'll see you guys there.